obviously everything looks a thousand times better than what he had the first pitch. But unfortunately, that goes, like I said, it goes back to the back to the kind of the pitch phase where he's got the storyboards, he's got the the concept art, he's got the plan, he's got the metrics, he's got everything to show them. He's just waiting for the right people to say yes. And right now, the right people are the, the bosses, the people that would approve it, and their bosses are now also in this meeting. So it's not just up to Anne, it's not just up to Toby, it's not just up to Walter, it's up to their bosses too. So for my financial state, AT&T is now getting involved. So big win right there. Um, mm-hmm. In terms of some of the other details that I've been told, is part of the pitch is going to include some cost cutting and budgetary conversations on how they can actually make these projects work financially without compromising the artistic integrity. One of the things I was told was that they're actually pitching the use of the same tech they used to make the Mandalorian, the massive uh, green screen sets, that they're going to be talking about using those to make sure that they can do everything spot on, but also cut costs dramatically. Um, I, one thing I want to ask, I want to clear this with you before I even talk about it. Okay. Let's, uh, yes or no? Are we getting yeah. in trouble for saying this? No. Well, yeah, no, you can, yeah, you can talk. Okay. Yeah. All right. Some people will be upset about this, but I'm, I don't care at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Justice League two and three is no longer being pitched as movies. It's being pitched as a straight up miniseries. They're talking about the initial idea what that we have with Jack Sauer's Justice League, the six chapters, but do that as episodes for the forthcoming projects. And they talked about everything. They're, they're kind of blanketing this whole conversation together. They say they can do Justice League 2, they can do Justice League 3, they can do Batfleck, they can do Cyborg, they can do, they're kind of pitching everything and showing projections of what that success would look like. So they are going full on with this is what we're going to do. And they have metrics, they have statistics, they have budgetary projections. They've got, they've done their homework. So, yep. All is not lost. The fandom is not, uh, is not over. San, uh, Anne Sarnoff's comments about saying this is one and done. That's not at all what's happening. Um, from WB standpoint, yeah, WB is not making any films, but they're not talking about films. At this point, HBO is talking about essentially a Game of Thrones replacement, doing that in the form of the Snyderverse. What's good, everybody? It's your boy T Flame. Welcome back to Strong on Flix. So, what is going on with Zack Snyder's Justice League 2 and 3? Are we gonna have sequels? Ever since this news came out from the light cast, um, of course, none of this is confirmed. None of this has been debunked neither. So I'm really wondering, is is there really merit to this shit going on behind the scenes? Is Zack Snyder negotiating the Snyderverse? I heard that he's negotiating a Batfleck movie. We all want the Deathstroke movie. Um, you know, all this shit needs to get made. The air cut, um, Justice League 2, 3, what is really going on? Um, I know that a lot of people just don't have the answers to these questions. From a business standpoint, it makes absolute no sense for them to not do this. But um, seeing that the Twitter event went real nicely, restored the Snyderverse, trended on Twitter and just smashed records with a crazy 1.5 million tweets for Restore the Snyderverse. And that has got to be grabbing some attention. Again, where are the HBO Max numbers? Where are the numbers for the viewership for the Snyder Cut and the numbers that it's doing on HBO Max um, combined with the sales of the merchandise because I've heard that, you know, BVS is getting bought, just got bought all the way out. The new edition, um, the, the, the dark side toy just got bought right out. Um, the, you know, the shirts, all the merchandise is just getting cleared all the way out. This has got to be turning some heads over at Warner Brothers for sure. In the last couple of days, we've had hashtag make the Deathstroke movie following Joe Manganiello's comments after his interview, giving us some insight into what the Batfleck movie would have been 
and roughly what Deathstroke's role would have been in the movie, and it sounded fucking exciting and horrific. Also with the Joker in some capacity having a role in it. It's a damn shame it didn't get made. We need this thing, and after all this talk, you know, it's gotten everybody hype, and um, Joe Man Manganiello and, and hashtag Restore the Snyderverse, along with hashtag Make a Deathstroke series on HBO Max is all trending. We even just recently, the other day, had Joe Manganiello himself come out and hashtag this as well. And all of this is going on right now, so something has got to be going on behind the scenes. What is too early to say, but thank you for tuning in, and we are definitely going to revisit this in the future as soon as there's an update. Hog smash that like button, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the Strong Arm Army. Peace. Till next time, my friends.